here's an unfortunate reality. By the time the average woman is 30, based upon research that I've seen and just asking girls and whatever, even if she's attractive, okay, she's not a Walmart golem, she's going to have a body count between 20 and 50 partners, okay? Yes, I know. Yeah, I know. Hear this rather amusing email that was sent by a 26-year-old man. An ex-military will tell you about his recent date with a woman he thought was pretty. Everything else is very attractive. Additionally, the first date he had with her was a complete disaster. She was very different from the person he was used to dealing with when he first met her. She began her career as a waitress in a restaurant. He liked to go, and in the end, you'll see how he got so bad. They left and he left her with some of the and left, and this is a fantastic story. It's a brief one, but it serves as a great illustration of what I always advise you to do when you meet a girl for the first time. Get together to date her for one drink. Tay hat is all. The last thing you want to do is go out with a girl you're really attracted to and go to an expensive place if you don't drink alcohol. Instead, try drinking tea or coffee at your favorite coffee shop or something similar that is cheap, quick, and all that. And after spending a lot of money, you discover that she is not the right match for you. And you'll find out how this guy handles it. He does a great job handling it. However, not all of them were brave enough to simply state, hey, you're gonna pay for it, or just walk out, or something along those lines. Additionally, you end up wasting time. You end up having a bad memory of the place you took her to, especially the one you like so much. As a result, after just one drink, you can quickly observe her behavior and get a sense of her true personality right away. I watch your videos every day because I love your channel so much. I recently watched one of your videos and thought I'd tell you a story. I posted this story in the video's comment section and received a lot of attention. So I thought I'd share the whole thing with you and let you read it on your channel. He says, let me tell you a little bit about myself here for background. I'm a hardworking 26-year-old former soldier. Additionally, I do not tolerate trash at work or in my personal life. We'll call the girl Mary for the story. Mary is a waitress at a restaurant that I frequently frequent during my lunch break. I thought she was way out of my league when we first met. She is brunette, tall, and very thin. I didn't think I had a chance with her because she was so pretty. Now that I think about it, I understand why she was single, and you will see why she was single. I'm going to say this now. I'm going to mention this minor detail here. He claims that they met in a restaurant. He frequently goes there for lunch. I have simply reached a point in my life where I do not trust the sincerity of those who earn a living from my tips or work for me. As a result, I'd be very skeptical about that. Number two, if this is a place he frequently visits, it is probably best not to go on a date with a worker there because if things don't go as planned, it will be a bad situation. You don't want to feel awkward going back to the place you like to go. Now, some people might not be bothered, but I figure, why add drama to your life? He says, if you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. As my surgeon, with whom I served, instructed me, I decided to follow that advice and ask her out. She was always nice to me when I came in, and when I asked if we could meet at a popular bar and steakhouse in the area, she said yes. I frequently go there for a steak, usually on Monday nights. She said she would drive herself, so I offered to give her a ride. I already had a reservation when I arrived, and she complained about how long it took to get a table. They had a lot going on that Friday night. She is therefore complaining from the start. You go to the bar and get a drink after waiting 10 to 15 minutes or even 20 minutes. She can get something else and just talk and chit chat with you if you don't drink alcohol. However, she is complaining from the beginning. This is a hint at what lies ahead. It says, here, we sat down, and there were issues from the beginning. She asked me if I was really going to drink in front of her after I ordered some alcohol. 
I informed her that no matter where I went, I always ate the same meal. Why would you alter your identity to please her? We've already heard her complain about having to wait to get the reservation and the table, and I'll bet it didn't take long at all. Now that she's berating you for drinking, does she expect you to behave differently in front of her if you don't drink? Also, did she say anything about that, by the way? What's the catch? Is she a drinker? She cannot see sitting at the same table as anyone else. I think some of this was honest testing to see if you're the kind of mice guy who will go along with her lies. That, I believe, is a component, but you can also see that she is a bother here. When we started talking, I found out that she had also been in the military. We are both soldiers, in case anyone is curious. She supplied, and I was an infantryman assigned to a mortar team support unit. She made an audible groan when I told her I was an infantryman. She also told me that she had dated infantrymen in the past, and they were all jerks. Despite this, the night continued, and now she is blaming you for your actions and the units you served with. Therefore, reservations take too long. You were drinking in front of her, and now she's saying that you and everyone else were jerks. So, just one drink, but also how you got there. There are times in life when you have to leave, and leaving is very powerful. Irritates women, and I promise she is accustomed to that. She is accustomed to you, my man, clearly giving her what she wants. We are distinct. After you left, you were brave enough to return to her workplace for lunch or a sandwich or whatever else you wanted. There you got a good laugh. Therefore, I would block her and direct you to return to that location if you do. Additionally, I prevent her from recognizing how she has affected you. I'd walk in with a smile on my face and smile and flirt with the other women who work there. But that's all for today. Good job. Okay. It's a short one. But I thought you'd like it.